I did an artist residency in Finland in 2016 and that was quite an eye-opener for me because it really made me realize that this life that we have it's truly a gift and I thought very long and hard about what do I want to do with this gift that is my life like what purpose can I have and and I felt very strongly that my purpose was to start these conversations My name is Natalie Field and I'm a visual storyteller based in Johannesburg, South Africa. After school I wanted to go and study art but my parents were a bit reluctant because they said that there wasn't really a financial future in being an artist so I decided to study photography instead. So I went to the university and I had a little walkabout with the lecturer there and he told me that I was going to spend a lot of time on my own in the dark room in the dark with the chemicals and my hands were going to go yellow and it didn't sound very exciting to me so I decided to do fashion design instead and I spent about three weeks doing fashion design and after the three weeks they said if anybody would like to leave this course they need to put up their hand and I said I am out of here. Instead I did a two-year working visa in um, England and I started traveling while I was there spending maybe like a month at a time in Poland and Turkey and seeing the world and it really it changed my perspective on things. And um, when my visa finished, I took all the money I saved and I spent a year backpacking through Southeast Asia. This was such an amazing time for me. It formed the person that I am now. But during that time, I also started noticing things that bothered me. Deforestation, cruelty to animals, and those things kind of sat in the back of my mind. I wanted to, to take photography, which I had fallen in love with during this trip, and I wanted to use it to create conversations about conservation. I think only now, really, I am fulfilling that idea that I had and using my talent and my stories to speak about environmental issues. Just starting conversations so that people can maybe also change their perspective on the world and think differently about things. One of my favorite biologists, E.O. Wilson, actually has a wonderful term for this yearning to reconnect with nature. He calls it biophilia. And he feels very strongly that innately every human being wants to be outside and wants to feel like they are connected with the natural world. We live in such a crazy technological um, space that we sometimes completely forget that you know, maybe that is why we have a yearning for something that we're maybe not 100% sure of, of what that thing is. Creating art is for me a way to reconnect with nature. So I've been going out into the uh, Bromfontein Sprate area which is just behind my house and I've been collecting specimen. I try and look at the links that feed and hold everything together because that really becomes the crux of my artworks, the interconnectedness of everything in the natural world. From there I move into the studio space and then I try and capture in as much detail as possible all the different elements that I've managed to collect and then I'm reconstructing all the elements together so that I can build kind of the ecology of the area to show my experience of the world, like how I see it and um, really make the viewer believe that, you know, that could actually be the reality. Through my work, I want people to kind of make that connection for themselves again and want to go outside so that they can stop experiencing nature just as a resource or a commodity and actually experience it for something in and of itself that has value of itself and that brings them joy.